At the ball, gasps could be heard as Queen fought her skirts before climbing the steps to the dais. As she prepared to launch into song, her eyes searched the room. The young officer she met a week ago was standing in a far corner, sampling the cider and dainties. He was a little older than the other lordlings, with an air of quiet stillness about him. It had intrigued her. As she began to sing, he turned around. As the song progressed, he came closer. Standing behind the rows of seats, plate of dainties forgotten in one hand, he gazed upon her. Did he recognize her? After the lake incident, they had met again at the stables. She had been lunging a fractious mare. The horse had reared high above her, and he had leapt over the fence and snatched her out of harm's way. Easy now, he had said. That mare is too much for you to handle, lad. Furious, she had spun around and shoved him so hard he fell. Only then did she realize it was him. Trying to give him a hand up, she had slid on mud, lost her balance, and landed in his lap. She had yelped and pushed away, scrambling to her feet. Sitting in the muddy paddock, looking up at her, his face had changed. Was that when he knew? But as he gazed across the ballroom at her now, his face betrayed no sign of recognition. Could he not see that the lad who befriended him by the lake, and then landed in his lap in the muddy paddock, was in fact a girl? Is he blind? Simple perchance. After the song ended, she fought her skirts again before deciding to hop off, rather than risk breaking her neck. More gasps came from the audience, and her cheeks burned. Why did I agree to this? I knew he would be here. She was in a ridiculous gown because she knew that he would be there.